guys, it's Cat Beanie and welcome to episode 29 of my Old World Survival Let's Play. Um, like, I did Google the Curse of Vanishing thing and let me see, it is... Could you do it? Where is my Curse of Vanishing stuff? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so Curse of Vanishing means that if you die with a Curse of Vanishing item in your inventory it just disappears that's it that's that's what it does it just literally like is like oh you died right well i'm out so you know bye uh that's it that's it just if you die bye bye item so like even if it was like the most amazing item you had you die it's all gone bye bye see ya no more no more item. And I'm actually surprised I remembered to Google it. Um, so, yay me. Not to toot my own horn. Well, yeah, toot my own horn. Why not toot my own horn? Um, but yes. That's what happens. Curse of vanishing. If you die, it vanishes. So, like, I know curse of binding is like, you can't get rid of it. So, curse of vanishing is like the opposite. Like, you can totally get rid of it, like, way too easy. And permanently. So, I think that's why it's a curse and not, you know, a blessing. Although it would be good if they had, like, curses and blessings. Although I'm assuming the blessings are kind of, you know, the enchantments that you would normally have. Ah, the deep root. You guys all know how I feel about beetroot, right? Love to eat it in real life. Bane of my existence in Minecraft. Well, one of them anyway. That and pigs. Just pointless. Although, like, I don't have any carrots at the minute. Like, maybe if I kill a zombie and he drops one, I'll be able to, to actually do some carrots. Um. And then I might even consider doing like a carrot on a stick for a pig. But right now, obviously that is not an option. So we just gotta keep rolling the way we do. Boom. I don't know why I have a furnace thing here. Like, obviously, crafting table, understandable. If I ever want to do anything down there, it's a chest, kind of understandable. Uh, if I ever need to, you know, get all my crops together and then go do something, I can just stick them in the chest. Go do it, come back, pick them up later. You know, job done. But the furnace. I have many, many furnaces upstairs. I have no idea what what I was thinking there. But. Oh well. Oh no, I'm drowning again. I seem to always be drowning. I really need a decent um, respiration helmet. Did this guy like respawn? Like, where did the other llama go that that is going to be an entirely different wandering trader, right? I'm not, I'm not losing it. I know I say that in like every episode, but genuinely, guys, my mind is, you know, my memory is not great. It is a constant battle. I can see Alzheimer's in my future, and that is not, like, that's not me joking. That is like a serious concern. <laughs> because my both my maternal and um well not my pater not my paternal um but both my uh grandmother and grandfather on my maternal side uh 
had Alzheimer's. Well, my great grandmother and my grandfather on my mother's side had. Well, I say had. Uh, my grandfather is still among the living uh, and has Alzheimer's, and it is a horrible, horrible degenerative um, thing and not to be taken lightly and I feel sorry for anyone whose family is suffering uh, because their loved one has dementia or Alzheimer's. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're essentially the same thing. I know they have different like one's like vascular and the other others like I don't know if it's like neurological or what have you but they're both not great so right let's get this kelp uh yeah and I I don't know why my memory is so bad like it's not even funny how like bad my memory is um but I don't know why it is so bad. It might be the fact that um, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, aspects surrounding my birth were not ideal, uh, and the only way I can put it is I potentially wasn't. It was made apparent to my parents that I wouldn't be here uh, and thus far I have only suffered from hearing loss, dyslexia, colitis and some other fun conditions. Um, so I don't know if it's due to that um, or if it's due to my dyslexia that my memory is so bad. Like I, like even my uh, Psychologist? Is it a psychologist? Uh, the person that did my tests for my dyslexia and stuff. I think I want to say psychologist. There's no psychiatrist, they're like the mind people, aren't they? Um, yeah, they did all that. It was, you know, kind of shocked at how bad my memory is. Which is why when I come to do a net, like why I do batch recording so I can generally remember <laughs> what I did in the episode last time. Because when I go away for a week and come back, I can't remember what I was doing the last time. And that is not, you know, conductive to a good, good videos. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. So I've been my mouse movements might be a bit weird because I have been recording these in my bed with uh, my mouse being on a pillow as opposed to recording them. No, uh, as opposed to recording them at my desk, my lovely new desk, might I add. Um. Which was, you know, which I specifically got and did for making videos in my nice new comfy chair. Um, but obviously due to uh, the medical stuff I've got going on at the minute, it is bed recording. So please bear with me if my... Although it's, it's not too bad if my mouse movements are a bit not great. Ooh, we've got some iron down here. I completely forgot about that. Uh, let's chuck these in here just now. Just put them there. Don't need to carry this around with us. We don't need to carry these. Right, there we go. We don't need to carry that. Cool, right. Um. Let's do some mining, see if we can get some uh, redstone. Why is this bit open? Uh, yeah, get some redstone. 
uh, and charge up this pickaxe. I mean, it'd be great if we could get like a fortune three pick, but you know, we already got mending, so I'm not uh, not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth here. Right, we got some lapis, so that will charge it up a little bit. And I've got some redstone, so that will help. Currently, the only reason I'm mining redstone at the minute. And we've got efficiency on uh, diamond! Uh, and we've got obviously efficiency four on it as well. Always make sure to dig around, folks. You never know what you might find. See, we're doing better with the uh, durability of it already. Um, we've only been down here for like two minutes, so. And we're getting a lot of cobblestone that we can smelt and get more XP. Like in one of my first um, Minecraft worlds, I did um, like watch a YouTube video for one of those um, automatic cow farms where you stick like the cows in like a small space and like breed them with the wheat and then the baby ones fall through a hole into a bit and then when they get bigger you can like release a dispenser with a bucket of lava and it like cooks them all and but then you don't really get any xp it'd be better to just stand there with like a sword and like looting three and you know get the xp and get the like a flame sword with looting three would get you like a bunch of leather uh, and a bunch of cooked food and XP. I mean obviously you'd have to stand there the whole time and wait and like kill them all yourself but you know it's better than letting all that potential XP go to waste. Like unless you're in like a position position in Minecraft where you don't need you know if you have enough sources to get XP that you don't need that sort of thing. I mean why waste why waste a potential XP source? I never understood that about some uh, some people that would rather let um essentially a machine do the job instead of them doing it and them reaping more rewards but I can see where the convenience would come in like especially if you've had a world for a long time because like um in my personal survival world like I've got like this massive sugarcane farm and I've been thinking about um changing it to a automatic sugarcane farm getting quite a lot of iron this time that's quite good um which i have made before in other worlds uh but it does use redstone and i'm not that great at redstone uh and the person whose video i watched to do it is um G jc place um he's a U minecraft youtuber so like if you ever want any like XP videos or like farm videos and he does like other videos and um, go watch his stuff uh, but yeah I'm just subscribed to him and although I don't watch his stuff consistently um, it is a great source of if you need a farm for this thing you know he's got one that will work so if you need anything like that, I would definitely hit up. Uh, like again, just the obligatory. This has not been. I have not been asked to say that by anybody. Uh, it's just one of the. One of the guys are watching. That's where I got the. Tutorial for the automatic sugarcane farm. Like especially if you play with um, cheats on and up your tick speed. 
it'll crank out like a lot of sugar cane for you. Not that I'm saying, saying that you should play with cheats on or up your tick speed, but if you are that way inclined, it would be helpful in some circumstances, I assume. We're actually at the point where we need to find like more redstone than lapis. Like I know some people like to leave their pickaxes, like their tools, their mending tools, to the very last minute before they uh like fix them. But I'm the opposite. I like to keep mine essentially fully charged at all times. Again, I don't know if it's related to uh, my mild OCD or if it's just a me thing. But um, the more durability they like my mending tools have, the sort of calmer I feel. Uh, I don't know why. I just makes me feel calm whereas when it's down at like this level I like I know it's not going to run out for like still a long time but you know why have it almost at the end of its life when you can have it perpetually almost constantly at the start of its life although it does sometimes make losing it harder when you've got like a full durability mending pickaxe uh, and you die somewhere horribly and it's gone forever and you're like no my beautiful pickaxe uh yeah so up a bit. I wish you got more XP from coal. Make mining it more interesting. Oh, it's going to be so weird when these bits, um, Like spawn in when the world goes infinite and it's it's like you know more wall Not as good iron or diamonds on this side than we had on the last side. The last side was pretty good. I mean, we got like redstone, lava, sorry, lava, wait, wait. We have a piece of lava, one freaking piece of lava. Turn this into obsidian. We have a piece of lava. Wow. I was so excited there. I'm like, lava? Lava? We've got lava! We've got like a bunch of line there. Remember, like, we're right at the edge. Like, we have a piece of lava. I just needed like more. I needed more lava. Why wasn't there more? 
that's heartbreaking. Why am I using the uh, torch trick here? Typical. That seemed pointless. Alright, if I could just get nine more pieces of lava, that would be grand. Sorry, redstone, but I'm only here for the XP. And I did just hear water, right? That wasn't my imagination either. Yeah, no, there's one piece of water. Like, physics gets so weird at this, like, when you get to the end of a, like, old style map. Like, I find them, some of them, when I get to the, like, if I'm in the water, at the edge of an old style map. I can't jump onto land. Here's another bit. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Um, it'd be handy if I had more lava, guys. More lava would be helpful. Like nine more bits so I could go to the nether. Would be grand. Anybody wants to chuck some lava my way, I'll take it, even if it burns me a little. I'm gonna have to start checking like the other edges and see if there's like more lava floating around. Die of hunger here. Too focused on this lava to uh, to eat, apparently. A lot of for me, I'll take it. It's kind of eerie being at like the side here and feeling like you could just step off into the void at any time, but but not, you know. I'm just gonna go back. Because all this side has been, uh, you know, has been done all the way up to the outer edge. Whereas this side, I need to go deeper.
kind of look cool over here. Coal's great. Give me more lava though. More lava would be grand. Um. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this episode and we will go on a lava hunt in the next episode. See if we can find some more find some more lava but you know i'm not holding my breath uh neither should you obviously getting it in an old style map is unlikely we we're probably lucky to get the one bit that we did not that we can do anything with it um but you know it is what it is this is the difficulties of using an old style old style mat uh, and we shall keep working with what we got let's put all this stuff away but please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed it would really help me out uh, and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye